Good day, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Marriage Series on Possibilities Divine. My name is Omola Raishala, and I am the host of Possibilities Divine. Thank you for all the comments and the feedback and the questions we've been receiving on this series. Please do keep them coming. You can visit us on our webpage, that's www.possibilitiesdivine.org, or on our Facebook group page, Possibilities Divine, or you can send us an email at possibilitiesdivine at gmail.com. Um, today we're going to be talking about marriage. So we have um, decided, we have we have found somebody that we're in love with and we have prayed and we feel we have God's approval and our parents are in um, agreement and so we have fi you visited your in-laws and now you want to fix a date. So the bride, the bride's family will be the ones to give the groom's family a date and pretty much um we encourage people to involve their parents so as a young man you don't just go by yourself and maybe along with a friend to just go and say i want to collect or i have come to to uh, uh, agree on a date the family of the bride will not take you serious so when you're going you want to go with your parents even if you don't have your parents there you want to go with people who are elderly who would serve as um leaders that people can that the family of the bride can relate with um once you have that date you need to start praying and planning towards it um some bride's family would say we want to save up we'll come back in a year some others will say three months or six months but whatever date you're given make sure you can meet up with the necessary things necessary requirements for the engagement ceremony and the wedding not every culture does engagement ceremony but whatever it is that will be a ceremony either introduction or whatever that will bring your family and the groom's family together to exchange gifts and do an introduction it's very very important for you to plan towards it genesis 24 53 told us that when the family when the when abraham's servant got to the house of um rebecca he brought her gifts not only for the damsel but as well for members of the family. So it's important for that exchange of gifts to take place. Like in my culture, it's usually a big deal. When you're going for engagement, you take gifts, you take, you go with family members, and it's usually fun, and, you know, there's a lot of teasing back and forth and dramatization. So whatever you intend to do, make sure you plan towards it and you cut your coat according to your size. And on the wedding day, uh, make sure you have, fit your, your, as a bride you have fitted your dress that's not the date for you to discover that your dress is too tight or too loose make sure you have your shoes everything is already set on the morning wake up early pray get ready make make, make your face up that's if you wear makeup if you don't wear makeup you can just make sure you wash your face and it's very dry if you have very oily skin pay attention make sure you are dabbing your nose or you know you have enough time to make sure your face is not sweaty and oily and you, make sure you have a maid of honor that is very responsible and will be looking out for you for that day as the groom make sure you get to church on time as the bride make sure you get to church on time that is your day make sure you are not everybody's not waiting for you and then they are thinking of starting the wedding program because you're not there so it's very important to plan towards that day and when you get to the reception make sure you enjoy yourself you dance you smile and you acknowledge people with your smile with your look and appreciate them show gratitude and after that I'm sure you must have booked your honeymoon somewhere to go to consummate your marriage. And that is where after the wedding, you have the liberty and the license to have sex as often as you want. And I know um, this is very, very important to newlyweds. Um, so that's why you need to, to make sure you wait. You do not put the cart before the horse. But you do it as a Christian. You make sure you preserve yourself. It does not matter whether you have lost your virginity before marriage. But as a Christian guy, a Christian girl, when you are involved in courtship, preserve yourselves. Make sure sex is not the ultimate or the focus. And um, when you eventually get married, I have no doubt in my mind that you will live happily ever after. So this is where we're going to hang it. 
and um, life decisions are very challenging but with God all things are possible so do not forget to send us your feedbacks your questions your comments God bless you